Hi and welcome back to another video. I'm Dan from On Top Marketing and today we're going to be talking about Joomla websites and whether or not they can still rank in Google. Now this could be a very short video because the answer I can tell you straight away is yes, you absolutely can still rank Joomla websites in Google. Here is a client of mine whose website is built in Joomla and as you can see I've increased the rankings. I took this from pretty much just branded traffic. Um, oh, this is over the last six months and I've now got it ranking quite highly getting a lot of traffic from um, a lot of the different service terms that she provides she had worked with two SEO agencies prior to us taking over and um, they had set up Google Ads so I basically took over Google Ads as well uh, when she moved over and set up conversion tracking and started tracking the uh, keywords that were converting the highest and then I just you know basically started targeting the pages building out landing pages etc and now we're here and she's getting more leads from her SEO traffic than she is from her Google Ads, which she's very pleased about, of course. Um, so this project has been incredibly successful. Um, the only thing that isn't great about this project is the fact that it's on Joomla. And I know that a lot of people ain't going to like to hear that, but it, it is the truth. And so there's there's two reasons why I say that. And... You know, let's 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 go into why they are. So, the very first reason, and this is this is probably the biggest issue with ranking a Joomla website, is it takes longer to develop. So, if you want to build something in WordPress, it is a hell of a lot quicker to get done than it is in Joomla. And some developers uh, will argue the point and say, you know, it's a lot easier in Joomla, etc. But, um, you know, I've worked with a lot of different developers. I'm a, I can develop myself, that was how I started out, and um, I'm 100% confident that it is not faster to develop in at all. Um, WordPress introduced a really nice feature a couple of versions back where you can create a custom post template, and that's allowed me to really sort of step up the content marketing game here, and I've got all these different lead generation um, blogging strategies that are working like crazy, and with Joomla because of the way that it's built it's so much more work to try to do a similar thing in it um, and that's probably one of the biggest issues because obviously if you're thinking about um, if you've if you've got an idea and you've got a set amount of time like with this client here she's only got a set amount of days every month that she allocates to this work so if I'm looking at it and I'm going this idea is going to take you know two days to do um, I've got to figure out whether or not that's going to be the best use of my time um, whereas if in WordPress that's going to take me one day, then you know it's a lot easier to, for me to actually get things done. Is the point I'm, I'm trying to make here? So um, this is a serious issue, basically, for Joomla websites uh, ranking in Google. Um, so it's doable, but you know just to clarify the point, it's going to take a little bit longer to do than it will in certain other CMSs. Um, and then the second point is um, is that it's not it's not SEO friendly uh, out of the box so you can make it SEO friendly but out of the box it isn't and again it's a little bit frustrating um, when you're trying to prioritize the use of your time to make sure the clients getting the most out of the money they're spending it's a little bit frustrating sometimes when you're fixing things in Joomla websites that in other CMS platforms is sort of non-existent this issue doesn't exist and um, you know that can be a real problem especially when it comes to duplicate content and canonicalization issues and stuff like that now those things I've pretty much nailed down I can fix those um, fairly quick um, however it's still something that's really quite frustrating to go through and then th there's so much testing that you have to do obviously because it's not it's not the way that it works out of the box so you have to use different plugins and stuff like that um, you know to really get these results but you know that's that's the answer basically. I mean these these are the two these are the two reasons right here. You've got it takes longer to develop and it's not SEO friendly out of the box. Those are the two reasons why people wonder um, whether or not Joomla websites can still rank in Google. Um, but as I showed just now on the search console, they absolutely can. It's just going to take a little bit more work and a little bit more time. So it really is you know a call of whether it's quicker to rebuild in WordPress or Squarespace or some other CMS. Um, that's a little bit more flexible than Joomla, uh, or you know, go down the route of fixing all these things up and um, and growing traffic like I did on the on the project I showed just now. 
Now the second part of this video is going to be about some of the common reasons why Joomla websites don't get any traffic and how you can fix it right now. So if you go into the search console, like I've got pulled up on the screen right now, uh, and instead of it saying 4.9k in here, it says zero, then you know that there is a, a real issue with the way that your Joomla website is set up. And the number one most common reason behind that is in the back end of Joomla there's a setting that can be left on basically that tells the search engine, so Google and Bing and wherever else everywhere, uh, not to index it at all, so not to show it in the search engine. And that is under system and then global configuration. And when that loads, if you scroll down right here, where it says robots, um, is this. If it says no index, no follow, that means do not index this website because this is a global setting, right? So this goes on every page, uh, unless you set otherwise. It says do not index this website and do not follow the links on this website. So this is incredibly problematic and you want to change this to index follow and then click save at the top. After you do that, you want to go back to the search console and resubmit your pages for indexing. Um, I've got page, I've got videos on this channel of how to do that. It's really not hard, it's quite a quick thing um, to do. And you'll see that your impressions will start going up the same day. Um, and you'll start getting clicks probably within a month or so. It could be less depending on the keywords that your website's targeting. Um, but that will be the number one most common reason why you won't be getting any traffic will be if that's there. And you know the reason why that happens is oftentimes it's, it's really nothing malicious. What what the, the reason I've seen it happen is that a developer will build a site and they will set the robots not to index because uh, they don't want it appearing in Google while it's being developed. And when they go live with the website they just forget to change that over and it's a, a pretty fundamental thing to forget but it's such a small thing that you know it often does and that's why I've got um, go live procedures and stuff like that in my agency which you, you can download my go live procedure for WordPress uh, websites but I, I actually talk about this as well uh, just because I've seen it happen so many times at different agencies and, and I can see it's, it's such a problem so yeah that's the first thing if that's the case, change that, save that, resubmit your website to the search console for indexing. Um, the other thing, and this is quite a funny one, I, I think I may have spoken on YouTube about this before a few years ago, but there was, I had a client, and I, I can't for the life of me remember the specifics of it now because a lot's happened since then, but there, I, I'm pretty sure it was this installation. I had a client that had something, a website, the domain was something .co.uk forward slash installation and then it was forward slash and then whatever the different things were they were installing or something like that and because we've got this robots file here that says to disallow this forward slash installation um, it literally just tells Google not to index it so um, it's quite an easy one to diagnose because if you go into the search console you can just paste the URL into the bar at the top I'll show you this bar right here um, right next to where it says search console this bar and see exactly why it is or isn't appearing in the uh, in the Google search engine but if it says about robots then you know it's this file right here and you can edit this by just going into FTP and just changing it um, you know just changing the files out uh, just just literally you can just delete this out of here um, they've actually cleaned up a lot of this because there used to be a bunch of stuff in here by default in Joomla that, that was just crazy that they used to block but it looks like they've actually cleaned this up in the, in the most recent version of Joomla which is great because it's moving in the right direction um, but yeah that's the second reason why your website may not be getting any traffic because if there's something in here that doesn't really make sense just bear in mind basically that where it says disallow although these are folders the way that it works is if that's your URL like if you are a company that sells components or something um, or if you've got a libraries page, you know, you've got loads of different resources. If that's your URL, these pages won't get indexed by Google unless you take this out of here. So either you change the URL name or you take this out of here, uh, depending on whatever the most suitable course of action is for the specific, you know, scenario. So, yeah, that's that. That's the two most common reasons. Um, and then the third thing that I just wanted to go over is uh, sitemaps and sitemaps are a right pain when it comes to Joomla and you're probably going to have a lot of um, messing around to get it to work but the one that works most frequently it doesn't always work but the one that works most commonly when I'm trying to put sitemaps on Joomla sites is OS map 
so if you get OS map installed on your site and then submit that to uh, Google Search Console on Bing Webmaster Tools, uh, you're going to show as long as it's actually correct because this is the thing I've I've got people in the past to, to do site maps for me and then when I've gone through them they've been completely wrong they've <laughs> had pages that don't exist and stuff like that so you've if you're going to do this step make sure you you, you actually check that the site map is correct um, but if you submit that to the search console and Bing webmasters uh, webmaster tools then you're telling them exactly where the pages are to index and giving it the ability to find the site because you know, if your website doesn't have a bunch of backlinks or anything, then there's no real reason for Google or Bing to look at your website. So, yeah, that's the third little bit of advice that I would give there. Um, they're the three most common reasons why Joomla websites don't get any traffic. Uh, the first two are going to be, if that's an issue, is going to completely stop you getting anything. And the third one is just a sort of case of if, you're, if your website's quite new or not really very well linked to and stuff like that, it will just sort of get you out there a bit quicker so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did then drop it in the comments below if you want more videos on Joomla SEO or WordPress SEO or any type of uh, you know CMS then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get a video done on it and make sure you subscribe to the channel because whatever you do I'm gonna be making more videos so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one